In the story, A Painful Case in Dubliners, Mr. Duffy lives alone in a simple room just outside Dublin. His furnishings are modest, he's always reading, he works at a bank in Dublin, and his days follow a routine. He eats the same meals in the same cafes every day. He enjoys music and often attends operas or concerts, if Mozart's on the bill. He meets Mrs. Sinico at one of these concerts, which she's attending with her daughter. Soon they're taking walks together. Eventually, Mrs. Sinico invites him to her home. Mrs. Sinico's husband is captain of a boat, so he's away most of the time. Her daughter has school, so Mr. Duffy and Mrs. Sinico are often left alone. The emotionally intimate friendship between Mr. Duffy and Mrs. Sinico grows, with shared conversations, oh. books, music, and ideas. But when Mrs. Sinico takes Mr. Duffy's hand and presses it to her cheek, he is shocked. He avoids her for a week, then asks her to meet him. They walk and talk for several hours and agree to end their relationship. He resumes his solitary life. Four years later, he is reading the newspaper over dinner, and Mr. Duffy reads about Mrs. Sinico being hit by a train while attempting to cross the tracks. The story quotes her husband and daughter commenting about how erratic her behavior and heavy drinking in the past two years had been. Mr. Duffy second guesses his decision to end their relationship, wondering how lonely she must have been. As he walks home, he becomes more aware of his own loneliness and solitude. Like so many other characters in Dubliners, Mr. Duffy suffers from loneliness, stemming from an inability or unwillingness to form connections with other people. Perhaps this pattern of missing connection stems from the anonymity of the urban environment. Perhaps it stems from the unique situation of the Irish. Perhaps it's a global condition, afflicting everyone in the modern era. After he and Mrs. Sinico stop seeing one another, Mr. Duffy reads books by Nietzsche, whose nihilist philosophy advocates a focus on the self and total self-reliance, because dependence on other people creates weakness and keeps a person from reaching their full potential. It's as if Mr. Duffy is trying to reassure himself he's made the right choices. Mr. Duffy adheres to a strict moral code he believes is his own, yet his concern with appearances and with traditional morals prevents both of them from finding happiness.